Hey everyone, just got back from the gym, got some laundry started. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here in Connecticut, and you know what that means. It means it's time to talk about some graph theory. In today's Wrath of Math lesson, we'll be talking about a simple but important theorem concerning cut vertices. And I suppose we'll prove it. Uh, proving this theorem, you basically just have to utter a certain sentence. So let's get into it. Our first statement, we're going to say, let V be a cut vertex of a connected graph G. So since V is a cut vertex, then by definition, the graph G minus V, where we delete that cut vertex and its incident edges, G minus V is disconnected, which I'll just abbreviate like that. So G minus V is disconnected. That's deleting that cut vertex. So, of course, it has to have at least two components. So let's take two distinct vertices from those uh, components. So one from one component, one from some other component. So we're going to say let U and W, let U and W be vertices from distinct components of G minus V. So we delete the cut vertex, that gives us our graph G minus V, which is disconnected, so it's got to have at least two components, and then we take two vertices, U and W, from distinct components of this disconnected graph. Now what does this super nice theorem tell us? Here's what it says. Man, these markers are so loud when you take the caps off, they squeal so loud. Okay, so what does the theorem tell, tell us? It tells us that every UW path in the original connected graph G must contain that cut vertex V. So let me write that out. So there it is, that's, that's the big mic drop. G is a connected graph, so by definition, certainly there was at least one path connecting U and W in G. The theorem tells us, that given these circumstances, the cut vertex V must lie on every one of those UW paths in G. That should make sense, because if V doesn't lie on every UW path in G, then one of those paths that doesn't contain V would still exist in G minus V. Thus, by definition, U and W couldn't possibly be in distinct components, because there's a path that connects them. So I'll say that one more time. Actually, before I say it one more time, let's draw a diagram that should make it extra clear, and then I'll say what I just said one more time. I'll use orange for this diagram. So we've got a connected graph G, right? And G looks something like this. We got some stuff over here. This is just a blob of graph. It's not supposed to represent a cycle. And we've got this cut vertex V, and We've got this other blob over here. Of course, there could be other components of the graph. V could also be adjacent to some vertex in another component over there. And of course, V could be adjacent to multiple vertices in each component. Now, once we delete V, and of course, in G, these aren't components. This is just one whole component because the graph is connected. But we've got this cut vertex V, we delete it, and then we're looking at G minus V. Then we've got our disconnected graph, right, which has at least two components, but it might have three, four, five, a million components, doesn't matter. Then we take two vertices from distinct components. So a vertex U in that component and a vertex W in that component. Now, of course, they're in distinct components because every path that connected them had that vertex V, which is now gone. If in this graph there was still a path connecting them, a path that didn't contain V, then clearly this would just be one component. And then those two vertices wouldn't be in distinct components, but they are. So let's say that again. Let V be a cut vertex of a connected graph G, then G minus V is disconnected and thus has at least two components. So let's take two vertices, U and W, from distinct components of G minus V. Then that cut vertex V lies on every UW path in G. 
because if v did not lie on every uw path in g, then u and w would still be connected in g minus v, and thus they couldn't possibly be from distinct components. That's the theorem, that's why it's true. This suggests a theorem that will prove probably in the next lesson that characterizes cut vertices. A theorem that says a vertex in a connected graph is a cut vertex if and only if there exist two vertices distinct from that cut vertex, two vertices u and w, such that v lies on every uw path. So we'll prove that theorem probably in the next lesson, which will come out in two days. I'll see you then. I hope this video helped you understand this theorem and why it's true. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And for the outro, let's listen to some Box Boys. This song is so good.